Hey, what's going on Machine Masters? This is James Jackson here with another Machine Masters tutorial. What I'm going to show you today is how to use Machine 2.0 inside of your DAW of choice. Uh, for this, I'm going to be using Ableton Live 9, and I'm going to be showing you how to make uh, your 16 pads uh, show up as MIDI data into your DAW. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, load up Machine 2 here into a MIDI track. All right, now I'm going to load up a kit right away. So I'm going to come over here. We're going to use Stratospheric, bring up the Tuxedo kit. So now, you know, one of the great, one of the things about uh, Ableton or any DAW is that if you want your MIDI notes to trigger the machine, um, in 1.8 you had the sound MIDI batch setup, which was right over here by the group where you could do sounds to MIDI notes or sounds to MIDI channels. But as you can see, you don't have that option here anymore. So what you need to do is uh, you see where you got the plug in, and then right here you click on the channel tab, and then click on, uh, we're going to go group, and then click on input. And now you see you've got MIDI right here. So now we're going to set our root note. You can set it to whatever you want. Basically what the root note is, is setting whatever this pad is going to be. So if this is root note C3, this will be, you know, C sharp three, this will be D three, E flat three, so on and so forth, all the way through 16 pads. So what that's doing is that it's basically mapping these sounds to the keyboard uh, for your DAW to recognize. So we're going to set our root note, and then you just got to click on active, and then hit channel. So I'm going to close this out. I'm going to flip my machine over into MIDI mode. Uh, turn on my metronome, and let's bring this, this tempo down a bit. So now I'm just going to record a quick drum, drum loop, um, and it's going to be recognized into Ableton. So you can see it's not the most perfect drum loop in the world, but you can see I've got the MIDI data in there and it's uh, being recognized by Ableton and it's triggering all the sounds inside of the machine. So uh, there you have it. <laughs> Don't laugh at my drum loop, y'all. It's just, uh, you know, messing around. I'm much better than that in real life. Um, once again, this is James Jackson with MachineMasters.com. Don't forget to head over to the website, uh, sign up, take part in our sample pack Saturdays and our monthly beat battles. Uh, each month, the winner of the beat battle will have their beat critiqued by the one and only Ill Mind. So make sure you're heading over to MachineMasters.com and signing up today. This is James Jackson. Peace.